Na het vertrek van Dante is Nana Asare voor velen de beste linksachter uit onze competitie. De lichtvoetige Ghanees verdedigt op techniek en heeft zelden fouten nodig, hoewel Ruiz van Westerlo dat laatste zal bestrijden. Asare's derde seizoen bij KV Mechelen is zo goed als zeker ook zijn laatste, de hoofdstad Longt. Philippe Joost trok naar het stadhuis van Mechelen voor een babbel met een innemende Ghanees. Nada, we are in the city hall of uh, Mechelen. Uh, have you ever been here? I was uh, here two years ago when uh, Mechelen uh, got promoted. So we went. Uh, we were here to see uh, the minister of Mechelen and also uh, to see uh, a lot of people to talk yeah. and also uh, the supporters outside. Uh, big party. Yeah, big party, and it was very nice for uh, the whole uh, team. So yeah. two hours ago, you still were playing in Westerlo. Uh, Mechelen won. And I think now you can say that uh, you're safe, no? Uh, we still uh, need a lot of points and we have to take uh, as much points as we can. And okay, two hours ago it was a very tough uh, difficult hours. game. <laughs> it was very difficult for us, and, uh, but uh, we made it through and uh, everybody is happy. Yeah, and Gorius, he scored a beautiful goal, a uh, strange uh, goal. It's uh, incredible. I think uh, he always uh, tried that uh, on training and uh, I think uh, it has come... Uh, to pass, so it's uh, very good. I'm very happy for him also. Yeah. Your trainer, Peter Maas, he told me, just ask him if he can uh, tell you the starting lineup of Westerlo. Can you? He got me. <laughs> 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 I know uh, the keeper, uh, the winter. Yeah. And uh, uh, Van Kerkhover. Yeah, okay. Van Hout. Yeah, oh, uh, you're, you're getting there. Van uh, Ardenado or something. Perfect. Uh, Moses, Modubi, uh, uh, Ruiz. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have. I think we have seven. Well, it's, uh, okay. But uh, he he told me he won't know because that's his his strength. Because you you just don't care about the opponent. No, I just uh, go on uh, on the field and uh, play on my qualities and uh, so. Uh, play with the team, so uh, whoever is coming, it's uh, not my problem. I just have to think and uh, yeah. help uh, the team. And what do you do when Peter Maas has the DVD from uh, the opponent? You, you watch it, or but you don't get the names in it? Or? I, just, I just sit at the back of him and uh, <laughs> just uh, laugh. <laughs> He's watching, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he always, uh, okay, he always show the DVDs and also to us, okay. What this can do and what this can do when, uh, when it's my turn, he explains to me what I have to do and uh, who the player is. But uh, he feels that okay, it's not my problem. <laughs> who is the most difficult opponent in uh, in Belgium for you? Who don't you like to play against? One. Yeah. Or two. <laughs> I have uh, like four of them. But okay, I don't have nightmares about them. But. Uh, they always uh, play very strange. One is uh, Silla from uh, Dender oh, yeah. and Saki. Saki from West Ham? Yeah, okay. I really don't like to play against him. So when uh, he came up, now you think, oh no. Oh, now I have to run a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, okay, I played once with uh, Demu, but uh, he's very good. And, uh, with who? Demu. Uh, ah, Tom Demul. Yeah, okay, sorry. He's also very good and uh, has uh, yeah. a lot of qualities and uh, techniques also. And also... And who you also, like to play against? Who um, I like to play against is... Uh, ah, Leja. Yes? Uh, from Anderlecht because, okay, he's someone that uh, wants to play football and wants to make actions and also. Yeah. He's not someone that always want to put uh, pressure on you or something. Yeah. also allow you to... Uh, to play football. To play football. And yeah. uh, I like him very much. Also. And also uh, Tom Dimul also. Yeah. Because they are not easy, but they are football players, yeah. you say. Yeah. I think they also know how uh, football is turning into now. It's not always about uh, putting pressure and running all the time. It's about okay. Mm. Um, if you if you see Champions League and the English teams, they only yeah. put pressure. Yeah. And the, I mean, when they have the ball, yeah. they play easy. Yeah. So that is uh, their way of playing. They put pressure to just to get the ball and play in their team. Is that your final dream? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Champions League and also uh, play. Win, maybe win it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you play it, you can. <laughs> yeah. Um, talking about supporters, at a certain moment in the game, you were injured, uh, out of play, and you know what they shouted? I guess. <laughs> I guess they are, they are singing. Uh, they are singing something. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Uh, they are singing. Uh, na 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 na. It's yeah. a, a song that. It's song for you, but they yeah. sung something, something else also. Mm. He is too good for Anderlecht. They shouted. Ah, I, I didn't hear. No, that, but. Uh, <sighs> they want you to stay. Okay, but that, that's that's clear. But on the other hand, I think nobody of Mechelen will say that you don't deserve a transfer. That's nice. I think uh, they also understand that, okay, in life you have to always uh, move on and uh, make a step. So uh, I'm very grateful I used Mechelen as a start. And uh, okay, I know there are a lot of things to come, but uh, I'm very happy they are there for us and also to support us. But everybody knows there are three teams interested, at least, maybe more, but okay, you have Anderlecht, you have Genk, you have Standard. Then uh, I would think, okay, Genk and Standard, they need a left back. They don't have one. At this moment, I, I would go to one of those teams because Anderlecht has two left backs. Do you think the yeah, same I, way or? For me, uh, it's, uh, it's a matter of okay, working very hard and uh, I have a lot of respect for mm -hmm. The left back so far under it, and uh, I really, really like them very much. But you have to uh, try your best and also uh, face some challenges in life. And uh, mm. I think uh, if I might get a chance to go there, maybe it will be different. So uh, mm. we will see what will happen. Yeah. But you are not afraid of the example of, let's say, for example, Lozada, who was very good last year in Beerschot and now is on the bench always. No, I'm not uh, afraid of that. It's uh, Everyone has uh, his own luck and uh, I think uh, maybe my luck will be different from mm. him, but uh, he's a very good player and uh, I, I play against him a lot of times and uh, mm. he's uh, really, really a good player. Where did you live in Ghana? The, the capital or...? No, I live in uh, Kumas, it's uh, one big city. It's uh, four hours uh, from uh, the capital, so. uh. but actually it's very nice there. Yeah. So, uh, it was fun to uh, to grow up there. Yeah. I see on the smile that one day you will go back. Or... I, I want to go even now. <laughs> it's uh, really a nice place to be in now, okay. Your family is uh, still in Ghana or? Yeah, uh, all my family is in Ghana. and uh, <clears throat> My mother and uh, my father and my uh, brother and my sister, they are in Ghana. And uh, yeah. I call them almost every day to see how they are doing. And uh, Every day? Yeah. yeah, almost every day. If uh, my mother doesn't hear from me one day, she gets very mad and uh, very nervous. So uh, yeah. I try to call them every day and see what they are doing. Yeah. And, uh, and how do you call with GSM or? Yeah, with my GSM. And, it's, uh, it's very expensive, isn't it? Uh, it's not. Uh, do okay, you have uh, special cards? Yeah, or? I have uh, a special card uh, that is uh, made for uh, Africa. Ah, okay, so, uh, okay, okay. I have them now. And, uh, I call uh, with it and, uh, and what is it five minutes yeah. or yeah something just hi ma'am I, I, I uh, hear we talk almost for about 10 minutes or 20 okay. minutes because uh, when I call them the whole family is around and uh, okay. my sister wants to speak my brother wants yeah. to speak so uh, it's uh, really uh, fun to uh, speak with them yeah and they ever came here in, uh, uh, not yet but uh, I hope very soon yeah now it's uh, 10 o'clock uh, what does a football player do when he when he goes home, or what do you do? Is is uh, blaming? Is he home now? You think? For me to think, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I but think uh, he's not okay. But he doesn't have but, to. Uh, right? uh, for me, I always uh, right after game, I always go home and uh, maybe sometimes spend uh, some few hours with Edie because uh, I'm not. Uh, Someone who likes to go out and uh, no. and party, you know. I always uh, wanna stay home and uh, think for the next uh, games and also on training also. Yeah. So you don't know what the, the carré is. I have been there, but that was uh, like two years ago or three years okay. ago. You don't go to Anderlecht. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. The carré is on the We don't talk about it anymore. No. no. And Friday you play a perfect game. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Thank See you. you then. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>